All right, everybody, here's part two of my four-part series for my uh, full stack video. Um, this is my full uh, lunar coin collection. And before I get into it, I just wanted to uh, show you guys what the, what the um, cases look like closed. A lot of people have asked me um, what they look like when closed. And so this is pretty much what they look like. And they do have magnets on them. So as you can see here, and up there, so they, they uh, stay closed pretty well. And these are actually kilo holders that I put the half kilos in for the three years they produced a half kilo. And as you can see here, I erased the Atmex. I just did that with uh, a regular just soft pencil eraser because that's what they normally look like. I've not erased the other two. Um, I probably will now that I have them out again. But... Um, when you buy these from Atmex, both these cases actually come from Atmex. It's funny, they actually upped the price on these. When I first bought them, luckily I bought all 12 at the same time I was going to need for the full set. Atmex was only charging $49.99, and now they're charging $59.99. Um, I guess because they were so popular. Um, they should probably send me a royalty check because I think a lot of people started buying them because of me. But anyways. Um, uh, so yeah, these... Uh, they never showed pictures of these same Atmex on them. They never showed a, a car. So if you guys do buy the kilo holders, that's what these are. That's why they kind of sink in a little bit. If you do buy the kilo holders, just know that um, you're going to get them from at, that. They're going to say Atmex on the top. And these actually go inside these boxes right over here. And they're pretty decent boxes. And they actually have, you know, some liner in them to, to keep the boxes nice. But, um... Yeah, you can actually just uh, stack them up just like I have them right here. Um, that's how I have them in my safe and it doesn't cr It's actually quite a bit of weight, but it doesn't crush them. This is actually the very bottom box um, So and you can see there's no damage done to it at all But all right guys, you're not here. You weren't didn't come here just to see uh, some boxes. So give me a second I'll get them all opened up and uh, Let's see what we got All right, here we go guys. It's all opened up for you. So you're looking at from 2008 to 2016. You're looking at a total of nine sets. There needs to be another um, three sets before the set is actually complete at 12 sets. And you're looking at 500, little over 504 ounces of silver right here. So yeah, let's get to it. First year of issue. You had the mouse, you're the mouse, 2008. Of course, have all the sizes, the half ounce, one ounce, two ounce, or I'm sorry, that's the five ounce, <laughs> two ounces up here, the 10 ounce, the half kilo, which was the rarest of all of them. Um, there is only 739 of those half kilos produced. And then the one kilo. Um, not many people know this, but the kilos do not perform very well. And the reason why that is is because they are still minting these kilo coins for all years. Every year, um, a couple hundred more of these are all minted. And, you know, they've stated that that's, that's how they set it up. And that's why these kilo coins do not do that great. They will only uh, finally declare the mintage on those kilo coins. Um when all 12 sets are done so for those of you who are buying the kilo coins i love the kilo coins i love the size of them but they are not that great of an investment right now um you can get them pretty cheap though but they're 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 not that great investment because they're still minting them even the ones dated from 2008 which i think is ridiculous and kind of uh um not necessarily shady but you wouldn't expect uh a company to keep minting coins that are that are backdated but they are so for those of you who didn't know um yes the kilo coins are still being minted every year all of them so okay um the next closest uh the next most rare was actually the five ounce at three thousand and five of those were minted 
So that half kilo is about four times as rare as the five ounce. Okay, let's go on. The following year, you got Year of the Ox. Once again, all the sizes and, you know, I'm not gonna go over all these for, for, for um, you guys know what they all look like and what all the different sizes are. On this one, once again, the half kilo was the rarest at 1,535. And then the next closest, once again, was the five ounce at 47, uh, 4,700. Next year, you got the Tiger. I, this is actually my favorite design. The ti That's an actual beautiful coin. Love the Tiger. And that actually is the hardest kilo to get your hands on. I actually did have to pay up for this kilo. I think this is the only kilo I had to pay up for. But the half kilo, once again, was the rarest of all the sizes. Um, actually, 5,000 of this ki half kilo was made, which... It's amazing when you compare it to the other ones, but the next closest uh, coin was the five ounce uh, Tiger and 14,500 of those were made. So this was the last year they did the half, half kilo size because obviously they were not selling very well. So, you know, if you want to have the, the complete set, you only have to buy a half kilo for the first three years. The next was Year of the Rabbit, 2011. Got all the sizes. Fun fact, I actually unboxed this, uh, this kilo. This exact kilo is my very first unboxing two and a half years ago. I bought the Year of the Rabbit because it was actually really cheap. Because <laughs> apparently not too many people like it. And because that is, uh, that's my sign. I am a Year of the Rabbit, unfortunately. Next, you got the Dragon, Year of the Dragon. Beautiful, beautiful coin. I like the Year of the Dragon, too. Big fan of dragons. Then, you got Year of the Snake. Actually, this was in my uh, first unboxing also. 2013. So if you guys want to check out where uh, Silver Slacker started, click on my very first video. You're going to see me unboxing these two uh, Kilo coins. It was, uh, I fell in love with the Kilo coins from uh, Silverfish VT. They, they, uh, they were just amazing, the size of them. And then for 2014, we got Year of the Horse. Um, this is actually probably my second favorite design. At first, I wasn't that into it uh, when I first saw the pictures. But uh, when I saw it in person, it was really, really nice. I, I really like it. And of course, you guys all know Year of the Goat. It was last year, 2015. And then finally, Year of the Monkey. This year. So yeah, guys, there they all are. In all their glory. It's an amazing set. I love uh, if I was able to put this together. It's funny, I actually had to um, buy from many different countries to put this thing together. That year of the year of the mouse and year of the ox can be some very in those half kilo coins can be some very uh, hard coins to find for sure. Um, but I persevered and I was able to put this awesome set together and I'm very proud of it. You know I've always been a collector, so this is the collection side of my uh, my stack. This in my next video. Speaking of which, um, so yeah, this is part two. Part three will be coming up shortly, and that will be. Um, my ATB collections. And I'm gonna go ahead and provide a link down below for part one to actually all the parts. Um, whenever they're all done, I'll, I'll fill them in. So if you guys are watching this, you know, if a few days after um, I put it up, uh, more parts will be uh, linked down below so you guys can watch it all. But all right, don't wanna keep uh, rambling, so I got to uh, another video to do. So everybody please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.